Okay, first of all, we need to know what is ionizing radiation, right? Ionizing radiation is a high energy that was given off by um, radiation, radioactive materials or sources. Ionizing radiation has a lot of energy, much more than low energy radiation, uh, such as radio wave or microwave. This two um, radiation is considered as non-ionizing radiation. So, for ionizing radiation, what is the important things that we have missed out? We need to know. So today, I'm going to tell you guys the important things that we have missed out about ionizing radiation. Okay, ionizing radiation has a potential for interacting and changing atoms and molecules, which is bad, isn't it? This is the important part that many people um, does not realize. This is the important part that many people does not realize what ionizing radiation might, uh, might do to our body. Okay? Uh, to make it simple, to make you understand better, if ionizing radiation strikes or hits the cells in our body, it, uh, it will either cause cell damage or killing the cell, which is so bad. Amount of, uh, amount of radiation that been absorbed by our body are known as radiation doses. So, uh, at high doses, uh, where most of our body, most of the part of our body are exposed to the radiation, right? So, uh, enough cell will die uh, to impair the function of different organ in the, in the, in the body. So this lead to a serious health effect um, might actually cause death, okay? Uh, which is very serious. But for a low doses case, um, the cells uh, might able to repair the damage or the cells uh, uh, left the damage and repair or misrepair the damage. So the misrepair part will lead to cancer but this is a long term effect for cells stochastic alert is a stochastic effect is a long term effect which is the effects that you cannot see um, the effects that you cannot see within uh, one or two days or one or two years after uh, you are being exposed with the radiation there are three biological effects of ionizing radiation on cells which is, uh, if ionizing radiation strikes the cells or being absorbed by the cells in our body, uh, we have three, uh, three things that are likely to happen to the cells. So, uh, the first one is the cells are able to repair, which is good. So, we can continue uh, the life, healthy life. Okay? If the cells are able to repair, then it is good. Uh, second part is uh, the second one is the cell are uh, not able to repair or it repair incorrectly. So this is the bad. See, this is the bad one. This is the the one that we are focusing more, uh, which is this might lead to cancer. Okay, this is the. Um, important part of ionizing radiation it change the molecules and atoms like I have seen uh, in a, a previous part and the third one is cell dyes but guys cell dyes is not really a bad option isn't it the effects of ionizing radiation on cells uh, it will show it will be shown by the individual the effects of ionizing radiation uh, on cells we give two types of Effects which is the non stochastic and stochastic. So, my part will be a stochastic one. So, stochastic side effects is a long term side effects, which is uh, a long term one, which is uh, it's not easily determined or it's not easily. Um, uh, I mean, we can't, uh, we can't jump to conclusion that it is a uh, it is causes by energy radiation. Stochastic side effect uh, has no threshold. 
uh, threshold goals. It means that it does not have a limit, it does not have a specific dose uh, that the stochastic does not occur. It does not have that limit of dose. Uh, I mean, in example, if we did reach a certain limit of dose, the stochastic does not occur. It does not have threshold dose. So, we cannot identify if this certain amount of dose going to give stochastic effect or not because it does not have threshold, threshold dose. Okay, and um, it is uh, the probability of um, the probability of uh, having stochastic is proportional to the dose, which is um, increase the dose, increase the probability as it is proportional. And uh, the dose independent, uh, it is a dose independent side effect, uh, which is the severity of having stochastic does not depend on the dose. Means, means that uh, even if you give a lot of amount of doses on the certain patient, uh, the severity of stochastic effect does not depend on the dose. Means that uh, it can be severe or lesser than that, even though the dose is high enough but it does not mean that it will be severe. Mm. Um, teratogenicity is that uh, teratogenicity means that fetal development uh, is abnormal. The abnormal the, ab the abnormalities of fetal development means that uh, if someone gets pregnant and having the stochastic effect, the fetal, the babies are going to be abnormal. Stochastic effect uh, causes the person to have uh, reaction to the drug reaction to the drug like some kind of that and causes the fetal to become the, the growth of the fetal become abnormal and then the genetic side effects so the effect of ionizing radiation to cells basically we have two not including the cells that had been correctly repaired the ionizing radiation on cells have two which is the deterministic effects and also stochastic effects. I'll be explaining about the deterministic effect or also known as the non-stochastic effect. So these effects depends on the time of exposure, the doses and also types of the radiation. This deterministic effect has a threshold dose which is below this point. The probability of harming the organ or tissue is considered small or zero because the small or a few cells loss will basically not harm him to the organ or tissue. But above this threshold point, the probability will be increasing rapidly with the dose. So the severity of the harm uh, effect on the, will be related to the dose, which means the, as it increases the dose, the higher the probability of harmful on the organ or tissue. Early effect and mostly tissue late effect is what we consider as a deterministic effect. So the deterministic effect includes the acute radiation sickness and also chronic radiation sickness. Nausea, fever, headache, vomiting, tissue and skin burns are all the examples of the acute radiation sickness. The acute radiation sickness is not dangerous. And these are mostly because of the radiation dose is large and it had been delivered to the uh, to the people uh, in a very short amount of time, so it causes an immediate health problem, but in a uh, but in a short time, and these effects are experienced by people just after the exposure, or within twenty four hours after the exposure. But don't worry, it is easy to cure and controllable. The other hand, chronic radiation sickness occurs after one had been exposed to the high amount of radiation for a duration of times, months or years. Continuously exposed to the small amount of radiation could also cause to this chronic radiation sickness. This effect is not an immediate observable effect. The example like cataract or temporal and constant sterility and inability of someone to conceive a baby is the example of this type of radiation sickness. Fortunately, this chronic radiation sickness 
is a dangerous effect and it is difficult to cure and it also may lead to death. So for my part is I will explain about the effects of ionizing radiation to DNA. So ionizing radiation is available around us from the natural sources like cosmic x-ray to medical equipment like to medical equipment from human technology like X-ray and computer tomography CT scan. So, if any form of radiation is absorbed in the biologic material, there is a possibility it will interact directly to critical target. So, if that is if that is happen, the atom of target material will be ionized or excited. Thus, it will initiate the chains of event that leads to biological change. This is called direct action of radiation. This is dominant process for radiation with high linear energy transfer LED like alpha particles or neutron. Meanwhile, if the radiation interact with other atoms, with other atoms molecules such as water, it will produce free radicals like hydroxyl ions that are able to diffuse far enough to reach and to reach our critical target uh, like DNA. So this is called indirect effect of radiation. DNA is the main target for radiation. It functions to store information necessary to produce a new cell in the sequence of nucleotide bases along the double helical chains. Microbiologists found that X-ray can damage their bases and destroy information. Since DNA is the radio sensitive material, so this ionizing radiation on DNA might change or might alter the ability of their cell to duplicate. So we move on to the next uh, explanation, which is type of DNA. Then first, DNA damage is space damage among the nucleotide among the four nucleotide bases. Thymine is the most radio sensitive compared to cytosine, adenine, and guanine. So, indirect effect of ionizing radiation will cause water hydrolysis to produce hydroxyl radicals that disturb the double bonds of C5 and C6 and produce thymine glycol. So, most of the base damage can be detected and repaired before the cell replication. However, most some of the base damage. Uh, escape the detection and pass on to the daughter cell. So, if base damage uh, is found on the reproductive cells like ovum and sperm cell, they are most radio sensitive, they can produce genetic defect. So, like previous cases, that previous case, the inability of Base, uh, in, uh, inability of timing glycol to repair by using base excision repair can lead to disease of stroke and also ischemic brain injury. Image is single strand break. Single strand break started by radical formation at the oxyribose units in the DNA caused from direct ionization, even or from hydroxy radical attack. Single strand break involves one single strand in the DNA and it, it requires only small doses of low electric radiation like X ray to produce greater abundance of single strand break. Since single strand break has one has still has one strand intact, so it requires uh, it has high probability of the repair enzyme to take place, provided if the breaks are close within each other. But if the breaks are on opposite strand and are very close, they can produce double strand break. is double strand break. The harmful DNA damage of ionizing radiation 
induced by aminasi radiation is double strand break due to its cytotoxicity. So double strand break is double strand break is break in the phosphor distal bond of both strands of the DNA, and double strand break production increases linearly with radiation doses. Also, as LED increases, so like if you use uh, neutron or proton beam therapy to fight cancer, it will bring more damage to our body because the higher presence of locally multiplied damage sites (LDMS) that works together by a group of lesions to destroy our genetic information in DNA. So that's the three most common DNA damage induced by the ionizing radiation that can occur in our human body. So let's move on with DNA repair. So in DNA repair, there are two major pathways, which is for single strand break and also for double strand breaks. So for single strand break, there are two major mechanisms, which is the direct reversal and also excision. And under excision, there are three mechanisms, which is base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, and also mismatch repair. So in double strand breaks, there are two mechanisms which is the non-homologous end joining and also homologous recombination. Direct reversal is a very simple mechanism because when there is an area in our DNA is damaged, the specific proteins will repair directly um, which they will uh, reverse the damage. In excision, if one base damage in our DNA, the base excision repair will take place. The enzyme will take off the damaged base and the other enzyme will check and replace the damaged base with the new nucleotides. There are some conditions where the nucleotides stick together and disturb the shape of the DNA. This condition commonly caused by the UV light and when this happens, the nucleotide excision repair will take place. The proteins will remove the DNA strain up to 30 bases length and then replace them with the new one. Mismatch repair mechanism is usually take place when there is uh, some error during the process of DNA copied breaks like I said before there are two mechanisms which is homologous recombination and also non-homologous end joining in homologous recombination they use template in the mechanism to repair the DNA so the undamaged section of the similar DNA is used as a template However, in non-homologous end joining, uh, this mechanism does not use any template. The series of proteins will cut off few nucleotides and fuses back the broken ends together. Without the template, it might cause some errors and also might cause the genes to mix up. The errors occur in non-homologous end joining might cause some diseases to occur. For example, lymphoma and also leukemia 